the rate of reaction of metal with oxygen water and acid is different for different metal and the rate of reaction depends on its reactivity there are some metals that react more quickly than other metals and this can be arranged in the decreasing order of their reactivity which is called the reactivity series of metals so to understand whether a metal reacts more quickly than the other in comparison this reactivity series has to be considered in reaction it is the reactivity series that gives information about displacement reaction it is in which one element is more reactive than the other element and so it displaces that element when a metallic salt solution reacts with another metal and if that metal is more reactive than the other metal it replaces its metal from its salt take some solution of copper sulfate in a beaker and add a nail and keep this beaker undisturbed for some time you will observe that there is some appearance reddish brown appearance on the iron nail after some time and copper sulfate solution appears to be bluish in color in course of time the color changes to greenish it's because the copper sulfate solution has reacted with the iron nail and this and since iron being more reactive it has displaced copper displaced copper and it gives iron sulfate which is greenish in color and this is a very good example of a displacement reaction and since potassium and uh, sodium being so reactive with oxygen and water in the atmosphere that they have to be stored under kerosene or paraffin wax we are all aware of the fact that corrosion it causes a lot of damage and loss and to prevent this corrosion there are several remedies and preventive methods that are used and the first is a very common one painting a very good example in our day to day life is the window grills they are painted iron gates the cycles that we use and the vehicles that we use they are all painted to minimize this corrosion and painting is a very uh, cheap and effective method also when this paint it fades off and starts peeling off it has to be repainted because the parts that is exposed to atmosphere and air then these parts those portions get uh, rusted and uh, it has to be repainted another method that is used is coating with oil or grease this is done for the cycle chains and also the hinges of the doors and uh, the engines of the cars they all oil and greased regularly also this oil and uh, greasing is used to minimize uh, friction and also to minimize uh, corrosion another effective method is uh, coating it with zinc aluminum and magnesium this could be done in the form of electroplating or anodizing and when zinc is um, coated on iron that is called galvanized iron and uh, in the reactivity series of metals zinc is more reactive than iron and since it being more reactive than iron uh, it reacts with the oxygen and it forms zinc oxide this layer of zinc oxide it protects uh, iron metal from getting corroded and rusted so this is a very uh, effective method and this example it can be stated when you give your vehicles your cars for repair they uh, just spray um, paint of um, zinc oxide on it this is used during car repair because sometimes when there's a dent or there's some uh, damage to your car the metal when it's exposed that portion uh, may tend to get corroded and rusted so this that portion is sprayed with uh, zinc oxide and uh, another is aluminum aluminum oxide also is uh, prevents it from getting uh, corroded because it reacts more faster than iron magnesium there are iron pillars that are submerged under sea water and since you all know that salt water increases the rate of corrosion so to prevent this there are 
magnesium sheets that are being used to uh, cover the iron pillars and since magnesium is again more reactive than iron this gets corroded faster than the uh, inner surface that is iron and this those sheets have to be changed regularly to prevent it from the uh, getting rusted so these other um, methods that are being used to uh, minimize corrosion there are so many metals that we come across in our day to day life and every metal has its unique properties and depending on these properties they are used in different manufacturing now there are some important metals that have been stated iron iron appears to be grayish white in color and when it is rusted it appears to be brownish red in color and this iron is used in the manufacturing of steel which is used in making of utensils iron is also used in bridges and in houses and several automobile and manufacturing industries copper copper appears to be reddish brown in color and copper has its unique property it's a very good conductor of electricity and that's why it is used in the manufacturing of electric wires copper is also used in uh, it it doesn't react with water and so it is used in making um, vessels in also in uh, water pipes and in uh, industrial boilers for uh, heating of water and you will observe that some utensils vessels that you use it is having a copper bottom this is because it gets heated very fast uh, next is uh, aluminium aluminium uh, appears to be uh, whitish in color and this aluminium is uh, having very good tensile properties and that's why it is used in the manufacturing of aeroplane in uh, ship manufacturing and in several uh, automobile industry it also has uh, good properties it uh, retains heat and that's why it is used in aluminium foil which uh, for food in vessels it is also very light metal lead it appears to be bluish white in color and uh, it is very soft metal it is also very uh, malleable and ductile and because of these properties it is used in sound proofing it is also used in storage batteries and in uh, making of alloys and uh, also in insecticides zinc zinc is used in uh, coating of iron because this uh, prevents it from uh, rusting because since zinc is more uh, reactive and it creates a uh, zinc oxide layer on it and it prevents the iron from rusting zinc is also used in the manufacturing of paints in uh, making of rubber in uh, cosmetic industry and pharmaceutical industry and also in making uh, many alloys like brass bronze and german silver chromium you have heard of chromium plated cars and bikes it gives such a beautiful and such a lustrous look it just because of this chromium plating uh, it is electro plated uh, used for iron and uh, this hardens the steel also it prevents it from getting rusted the iron and this chromium uh, you will also uh, come across it uh, in your taps water taps chromium plated taps now we have come across so many metals and their applications in our day to day life but i all aware that these metals are required by us by us human beings for our day to day living and these metals should be present in our body at the adequate amount if it becomes too less or it becomes too more it creates a problem and so certain essential metals are sodium and potassium these act as electrical messengers from the brain to and for and this sodium also is responsible for controlling the bp blood pressure in our body calcium our bones and our teeth are made out of calcium hence it's a very essential metal iron in hemoglobin 
in red blood corpuscles is very essential zinc copper magnesium and manganese are also required by the body there are certain metals also which are very toxic and hazardous for our body uh, those we'll study in our um, further classes